Hello, my crafty friends. It's Andrea from Prairie Sky Paper Crafts, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Manitoba. We're making an Easter card today, um, or a spring card. It doesn't have to necessarily be Easter. I'm using a piece of the wood grain from the In Good Taste Designer Series paper pack, a piece of crumb cake, and I've got my card base um, in early espresso. I don't usually do dark, but I figured, I don't know, it was just something today pulled me to use this. Um, so when you use the dark one, you can either use a white chalk marker on the inside for your message, um, or you can do a layer of lighter colored cardstock or just regular printer paper. Um, I'm using Easter Friends, as I had mentioned, and I'm going to use the bunny for this one. Now, I also have um, some of the classic matte dots. I haven't quite decided if that's actually what I'm going to use today. Um, or if I'm going to do something a little bit different. Oh, I've got a piece of scrap paper stuck to the bunny's face. All right, and early espresso, since that's the card base color that I'm using, that's the color I'm going to use for um, my stamped image as well. You know what, we're going to bring him closer to the bottom. And pull it up. Actually, I'm also going to stamp some of the grass, I think. Oops. It's really dry in my craft room right now and the sticker backs are sticking to me like crazy. <laughs> Okay, if you've been around any length of time, you've seen me do this trick before. Um, you peel off the protective coat or paper from the stamp and from, <coughs> excuse me, the sticker and just hover it just like a jigsaw puzzle. And then you have a perfect addition every single time. Okay, so we're gonna stick this guy down. Oops cause a bit of an avalanche, but that's fine. And then we're just gonna stamp a little bit of the grass around our little bunny friend. I'm gonna do a couple of double stamps. Um, kind of make it a little bit lighter, a little bit darker in a few places. And there we go. So our bunny is stamped. Um, I'm probably going to use the Happy Easter sentiment, but I haven't quite decided that yet. Before we do that, I'm going to bring in some Wink of Stella, and we're just going to blend. I love Wink of Stella, and it's awesome for applications like this when you've got just a little bit of color that you want to pull in. So I'm doing just kind of flicking strokes. You don't want to hover, um, you don't want to pull too much in one spot. You don't want to over, you don't want to over Stella um, too much either because if you do, then you're gonna get kind of areas that are a little bit less, or a little bit more, I should say, um, impacted by the Wink of Stella and you're gonna see it a little bit more. I mean, for a, critter like the rabbit it's not such a big deal because it looks like fur strokes I'm gonna keep filling in and get his ears and then we're just gonna do his face he's just the sweetest little rabbit All right, and then as with, oh, I've got yellow on my finger. Um, as with any watercolor application, you just wanna kind of brush it off to the side when you're finished, just to make sure um, that you don't have any extra color left over. So that the next time you go, you will not have any surprises. Okay, um, I'm kind of done with this guy, I think. I just used this for another video today, so I didn't have time to clean it up. So I'm just gonna 
get the color off on my simple chamois. And we'll do Happy Easter, but we're going to do the Happy Easter in the green. There we go. Close up our ink pad. Now the simple chamois is really amazing. I just have it in a, just a regular stamp case. Um, and it's always damp, always ready to go. And all you gotta do is just basically tap, 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 and then stick your stamp away in the case. And then, um, oops, that fell. If you want, um, you can always rinse it out under some warm running water. If it dries out a little bit, you can always, again, with the warm water, I like to put a little bit of Stampin' Mist just to kind of make it smell a little bit better and a little bit fresher. And if it does start to get that kind of stale smell to it, um, you can always throw it in the washer or um, in, even into the dishwasher. Okay. I'm probably going to run out of adhesive, but this one is super close to the end. Okay, seriously, the red is right there. I've thought a couple of times now that it was going to run out, but it hasn't. I'm really quite surprised. Okay, so there's this guy, and we're going to put our little bunny bum onto it, and then all we got to do is add some of our classic matte dots, and I think I'm going to use very vanilla. Now, grab my take your pick. You know what, I don't usually do this, but it's kind of striking me today that I want to. I'm just going to do the small, small, large, and then we're going to do two smalls again. I like odd numbers when I'm doing my embellishments. I don't know, it just adds something, and I really like the way that that looks. these guys back Oops. back into the paper you go and there you have it our super quick bunny card um just a little bit of shimmer and shine so thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit subscribe down below um there will be a list as well um link to the image of the card as well as the supplies used down below Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.